All right. So in a one-point class, we're looking for the elbows to be abducted and out to the side and him to have a big wide turn, which is what we're seeing using the back of the hand. Great. Good. Do it again. Yeah. Some head bobbing as he starts and head bobbing as he goes throughout the movement. Great. And come on back. Stop really quick. Stop, stop, stop. Great. So to stop quickly, he's dropping down using his forearm some to help stop. Go backwards now. Yeah, right straight here on this line. There we go. So we see a use of the, of the wrist and the forearm and going backwards. Now come forward. Change quick. Forward. Forward. Now the, the hand goes back to use the wrist and now we see the flat of the hand on the top of the rim. Good. So now if you'll do some zigzags, real quick directional changes. So 45 degree, good. Now change. Good. Switch. All right, good, and we watch for how the hands are on the rim and how he has to change his hand position to do that. Great, come back. Yep, that's good. Come forward towards me. Quick, 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 quick. Good, stop, stop, stop. Now start again. Start again. Start again. Hurry, 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 hurry. Stop, 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 stop. Good, start again. Quick, 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 quick. Great, perfect. So now if you'll get right about at the edge of the circle. Mm-hmm. Great. And just a chest pass. Yeah. Great. So we look at how the athlete does the pass, how he uses his shoulders and the triceps and the wrists. And we look at distance and we look at accuracy. This is a condition where the, this is, the athlete is not challenged. There's no one playing defense. There's no one trying to block the pass. Um, so we get an idea of exactly how he does it. And then in the game, we'll look at how he does that under challenge. So when he's actually got a defender, uh, making it more difficult. Good. And here, we'll watch how he catches the ball, how many hands he uses, like three. <laughs> and how much he uses his stomach and back muscles to help him if he's got any. Great. Now, do a one, one hand, how you might throw a one hand pass. So now we look for one hand skills, which our lower point athletes may not have. His, he's doing a great job without any pressure on him. Do you ever do it with your left hand? Okay. Just show me how it would be. You right handed? Yeah. Okay. And this is his non dominant hand, but so you can see how the dominance of his hand and how much he uses it makes a difference in his skill. Now try the, um, the one where you pop it. Straight up over your head. Great. Okay. Good. Now, will you turn sideways so you can, or, or if you can get him from the side and see how he, there we go. Good. Do it as hard as you possibly could. Okay. That's, now you see that he has to lean backwards to be able to do more of a chest pass, not have the arms up in flexion. Great. And now a bounce. Okay, so if you've got to dribble, that's how you would do it. If, would you ever use one hand? Not in a game. Not when someone's challenging you. No. Okay. I'm going fast. Okay, good. Great. And now I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to actually need to get in the picture. Is that all right for oh, you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have, we'll take the ball away. So it's like you're set for a pick, and I'm going to try to move you, and I want you to see how you hold. Good. Hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold, good, great, good. So he has to drop down and use his forearms to do, to hold that. He can't do it with just his hands. So that's how you really use your shoulders to help. Great. Great. All right, good.